All right. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. At the stop sign, turn right onto Park Road 1A. Roger that. Rank your videos. All right, we are in here, man. To the park. A little bit of kayak fishing with Jared, man. The swim bait king. He is up from Austin, Texas. And I'm pretty sure I'm going the right direction. I don't know, that says boat In a ramp. quarter mile, turn left. I don't know. It says that I'm going the right direction by turning right. We finna find out. I'm trying to find where Jared's parked right now. And then we also got Xavier and Torrance joining us tonight, man. I brought the Old Town Kayaks. Okay, and we are gonna hit a new lake, man. Never fished this spot before. I'm gonna try and break out some big baits. I think I left all my soft plastics at home on accident and you guys just kind of fell. So I've got like hard baits and I got some options, but maybe less than I should have. So basically I left a lot of tackle at home. I think I do have some soft plastics in my backpack. We're gonna have to see what happens, but just another day of me forgetting everything. Turn left, then the destination is on your right. Uh, Siri, tell me how I'm finna turn left. Slight detour. Quick access to the water right through the trees, man. All right, man, we got the setup down to the water. Boom, only fell off this thing once because I didn't tie it down. Here comes Torrance too on the phone. Sweet. All right, Torrance is actually close enough to where it'd probably make more sense for me to uh, just unload his kayak and bring it down to the water rather than go out there and then have to come back and help him with unloading the truck and all that stuff. Kind of pointless for me to get out there, start fishing, and then have to come back five minutes later. All right, y'all, half an hour later, we set. Torrance should be here any minute. Lock the pedal drive system and the Minn Kota into place. And I'm just gonna hang out here until Torrance arrives. Pop this in here. Set up and ready. While I'm waiting for Torrance, I'm digging through my backpack looking at some plastics I might try to use tonight. I've got some EXO ribbons, black and blue, which is perfect because it looks very stained, and then also some EXO pods. And so, yeah, we got a couple options here for the T-Rig. I've got a Texas rig set up with a bait that I got in an MTB box. You guys know Mystery Tackle Box. Try your first box out for as low as $10 with code Weston at checkout. I'm gonna try and get by with these couple deals here for the T-Rig. Just don't know where to put them. I guess they're going here. Yeah, the crank box might come in handy. I might keep that up front with me. Shad chatterbait would probably be a good idea. Also got some jigs in here. We'll just have to see what it calls for. Should probably just get out there, keep the pliers and scale handy. All right, I think it's time to hit the water. I don't even know if the motor will drop all the way down. Yeah, all right. Okay, yeah, we're definitely too shallow. We're hitting the bottom. We're gonna have to get out here a little ways. Hold up, this is actually happening. Do y'all see that dog chasing those ducks? That is so funny. It must be like two feet of water all the way out here. Check him out, he is just thugging it out trying to get to these ducks over here. He gonna get them. A little choppy out here today. All right, I guess we should step it up a notch. Going into the wind. There we go. Full experience now. We are at three and a half miles an hour straight into the wind, y'all. White capping. Do, 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 do. Well, I have made it to the first spot I want to cast. I'm just going to go straight for the mission fish. Big baits, hunt for a big fish out here. New waters. Why not? Let's do it. Got a spot locked on the Old Town Autopilot 120. If you guys want to check out this kayak, I'll have the info down in the description. The thing is an absolute beast. You can also check out my full review on this thing. High speed wind tests. I'm having to navigate. There's trees and twigs everywhere, man. We are just in a couple feet of water right here. Sorry. Look at what I got for him, dude. This thing is like... Oh, nice. I'm gonna snag me a big one on this bad boy. Uh, it's a Yozuri. I'm thinking about tying on a crank, boys, and here comes Torrance on the cell. Hopefully he doesn't say the kayak's stolen. Do you see the Tundra? Yes, sir. Okay, so the kayak is on the bank, like, just behind the truck. It's, like, ready to go. Yeah, man. Thanks, bro. My pleasure. See you in a minute. Bye. Ooh, the shallow diving crank gonna spank him. Ow. Yeah, I'll work just a little ways up with you until, until T gets over here. Oh yeah. I feel like it's just getting, I feel like it's just getting in front of them right here. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, the breeze, dude, I, I, at this very moment, I feel real good. That might change here in a bit, but I saw it said like 90 and I was like, okay, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> I know. Jared with the first snag of the day. <laughs> That I've seen. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. <laughs> I 
Jared's asking me if the square bolt gets snagged pretty easily. Oh, well, actually, he's asking if it hits, bounces off a of cover pretty easily. And I tell him we're about to find out. We're about to see if I bounce off cover, too, because I got a feeling I'm going to hit something while I stand up. It's, uh, dude, it's, it don't make no sense. <laughs> it's probably not the smartest idea at this very moment like this, but. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of able to have like a better vantage point, though, and kind of see him a little bit. I think he said he gets off work at 4.30 and would maybe be here by 6 or 6.30 or something. This must be new. You're always in short sleeves. Hoo -hoo -hoo, boys. All right. Throwing straight braid, which is probably good for this right here, because... Let's switch things up and try a little exopod. This little guy might do well out here. Let's see what happens with a nice little crawl, creature bait, quarter ounce weight. Probably could use something a little bit heavier since it's kind of deep right here, plus we're in the wind. But that is okay. That is okay. Roll with what's tied on for a second. Got one. Got one. Oh. Little guy, first blood. You. Creature bait, black and blue. All right, first one on the big lake, boys. Wow, I must have hit that GoPro up. Uh, hopefully you guys saw a little bit of that, given that camera angle. But uh, yeah, we brought him home. Ha! All right. That was just a few casts in on the Exopod, man. They might uh, they might be on something a little bit different than I thought. I figured cranks and stuff on the move would be the money after we saw a bunch of fish jumping right when we got here. But they might just be caked over here in the trees, sipping on them little craws. Let's get some more. Torrance is just pulling up too. What up, boy? Torrance says he's got an extra claw. You will never see me turn that down. Oh, lost my respect. White claw. Mother, uh, not much. How you doing? Uh, look, one spot lock, two boats pinned. This is how you do it, man. Yeah, cheers, dude. Thank you, sir. <laughs> watch your rods. Watch your rods. Watch your rods. Watch your rods. No, don't hit the tree. Oh, that's the PDL 106 right there. <laughs> Instant reverse. <laughs> It's crazy, but that's his usual. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I went light. That, that's that's Jared on his off days. <laughs> How many ounces you got off the front of that boat? I thought he had live bait on there, bro. Hey, this is artificial only out here. <laughs> oh shit, that's a stump. Motor said, "I'm not gonna keep going." That's what happens if you hit a stump, boys. It's not as far down as you would think. I mean, the prop is probably almost hitting the freaking, the hole. It, it's designed pretty well. Uh, well, it's designed insanely well. The shad chatterbait and cranks we've always thrown. Whoa, look at those nests up there, boy. Look at these bald eagle nests up here. Ain't no other birds in Texas. She's hanging in there. We've almost made it to the wall by the bridge, man. It's looking pretty good over here. I am quite curious what we might find. Meanwhile, I can be productive while I cruise. Autopilot 120, man. Life is good. Let's get these fish. We're probably going two miles upstream and then we got another two miles to head back. We just made it to the bridge. We're thinking this area with all the rock looks real promising. We're throwing some moving baits, trying to get on these things, shad colorations. And uh, I'm being really loud because there's a lot of wind and a lot of traffic around here. So I literally just have the old town spot locked. Having a good old time out here, guys. Let me get this boat back over here to me. motors okay now this area actually looks pretty dope all right we're finna bust out the yozuri juice back here and see if we can get anything to come up to the surface oh you said you want to see a top water blow up i am fully expecting a fish to hit over here like in the shade where the sun's already down walk along the dock walk along the dock 
Well, I tell you what, I had high hopes in the old Yoziri top water. This thing is clanking and a clanking over here off the docks in the marina by the rocks, man. It's got it all. Stumps over there. Hold on a minute. <laughs> and then the red in there too looks really good. That's though. insane. Closing things out with a little top water action, man. Alright guys, and that is going to do it. We stuck it out till sunset and then we had a long time loading up the kayaks afterwards. Be sure to check out those old towns, man. They are absolutely insane kayaks, man. From the pedal drive that I was having Torrance use to the autopilot that I was rocking. And also check out Jared, man. Jared was actually cruising up here in town from Austin just to fish with us and have some fun. So definitely check out his page. Him and Torrance are both going to be linked in the description. And we can't wait to showcase some more new lakes like we did in today's video for you guys. We've been loving getting out onto some bigger water, man, and expect to see it a lot more in some of these videos coming up. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you all tomorrow. Peace. Boom! <gasps>